now move to the Upper East region where overcrowding at the Bego School for the Deaf in the Talensi district is a major concern for school authorities. People sleep in pairs on beds and on mats and teachers fear the worst if there should be an outbreak in the school. The Bego School for the Deaf is a regional school for the hearing impaired and some multiple disabled persons. 7.30 a.m. assembly starts. It's all about sign language. For these young ones, their eyes are prized assets as they pay rapt attention to any announcements given. <laughs> Established in 1996, with a population size of 411, consisting 234 boys and 177 girls from the kindergarten to the junior high level. Ordinarily, teacher-to-pupil ratio should be 1 is to 15, but this figure exceeds. You enter a class where we have 53, 46 and the rest is a problem, but in this case, I think the problem is how to get more stretches. Uh, if we ask the teachers and even get it, where are the structures to split the classes? Evans, a sensory atuba, a pupil who suffers from postlingual deafness, shared his frustrations. In the school here, if they get materials like books, bag, shoes, pen, it will help them to learn. In the 2010 population and housing census, the Upper East region, with a population of slightly over 1 million, has 39,924 of persons living with disabilities. Of the total number of persons with hearing impairments in the country, the region has the highest percentage of 21.3. How do you people feel being deaf? I am happy being deaf because I am here learning and it is better for me. I mean, I'm not happy being deaf because he became sick and then finally lost his hearing. I was first hearing, became deaf, and I'm now here in the deaf community. Yeah. I'm not happy I'm deaf. Pupils are supposed to have additional vocational skills training, but the infrastructure is not ready. Yeah, this facility you have seen was initiated by a Peace Corps volunteer in collaboration with the Talency District Assembly. Well, it's like now the Peace Corps volunteer, she has been able to fulfill her part of the contract and that is why you can see that structure. And we are now waiting to see the District Assembly fulfilling their part. It was initiated 2013. When they entered into the partnership, I was not the district chief executive. So when I came in, there are some technical issues that I need to clear before work can continue. We are working on that within the year 2014. The overcrowding extends to the dormitories as well. During their afternoon siesta and evening at night, pupils in both the girls and boys dormitory come for space. The ceiling fan knobs in some of the rooms are destroyed, exposing the electrical wires. Another major concern is a cracked wall at the boys' dormitory. 5.30 p.m., dining hall prefects signal pupils. Tuozafi with groundnut soup was on the menu. The assistant headmaster of the school told us tables meant for technical classes are used there. The situation compels some pupils to sit on the floor while others sit outside. Despite these challenges, pupils of the Bego School for the Deaf are hopeful for a better life. Wendy Lai, TV3.